Did I ever tell you about the time? Some poor bike lesbians tried to rape me. On the dates of January 23rd and the 24th, a group of evangelicals called the Campus Ministry USA came to SFA's campus to spread their message. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel of every creature. He that believes and is baptized will be saved. He that doesn't believe shall be damned. So we're here to warn people we don't want anybody going to hell. We want everyone going to heaven. But to go to heaven, you must turn away from all sin and follow Christ. Well, I tour campuses. I've been doing this for 48 years. I'm on some campus somewhere, five hours a day, five days a week. Last week, we were at Louisiana State. Tuesday at University of Houston. Wednesday at Sam Houston State. Last two days here. Members of the Campus Ministry USA would hold up signs stating, he who sins is of the devil, and ask me why you deserve hell, while opposing students of the group would tote response signs saying, ask me why you're loved. What they're saying is fundamentally wrong, and it's not what Christianity is, and it is not what uh, God and Jesus stand for at all. Like, my God is a God of love, He is a God of forgiveness, and what these people have been out here doing is being hateful for no reason, they've been belittling people, and I just think it's completely wrong that they're out here and spreading absolute hate and just incorrect things about the Bible. Not only do Campus Ministry USA members from out of state support, but one local, Roger David, is an avid supporter whenever the group is in town. When they come to town, I associate with them. The main purpose is just to be obedient to God when he has called us and given us a commission to go out into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. So our main goal is just obedience to God in doing that. The secondary goal is there's a lot of students here that are suffering, that are in pain because of the sin in their life. And we want to draw them away from that sin, call them to repentance and faith in Jesus Christ so that they can live in freedom and not have to suffer the consequences, not just temporarily on, in, in this life, but in the afterlife. Campus Ministries' two-day plan of spreading their message to SFA has ended. And since then, Dean of Student Affairs Dr. Adam Peck has responded to the matter with, quote, No one deserves to be spoken to the way that these individuals have spoken to our students. Many of the things they have said are vile and deeply offensive to me. And as to why the group was allowed on campus, in short answer, we had no choice. Peck also mentions he was proud of students for standing up to the group and living their values, but also afraid that the group seemed to be most intent on creating havoc and expects the campus to return to a sense of normalcy now that the group has left. For the Pine Log, I'm Jimmy De Los Santos.